here welcome to my channel uh, on this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to fix permission problems on your Apache setup so if you've been following along this tutorial uh, how to set up Apache at PHP on Mac OS Shara and you encountered permission problems this is the tutorial for you so most of the users on the comment section had this issue so I'm gonna address it now so let's Go to that. So if you're getting this one after you follow those steps, um, there's also one step there that I miss, um, which I'm gonna show you how to fix. So on a recap of that tutorial, we set up Apache, and then we had a bunch of configurations added, and I also enabled um, virtual hosts, which we are not currently using. So let me open the terminal and from the terminal if you type sudo apache ctl uh, config test this would tell you if there's some problems with the apache configuration file as you can see here i got some warnings about a missing directory or file that or it does not exist but the syntax is okay so to fix that i need to go to etc apache 2 make a list i'm gonna edit the httpd configuration file using uh, v this time sudo v httpd conf and I'll get to this so scroll down at the bottom section of the file and under here virtual host it says include the private file hpd virtual host so hit the letter i on your keyboard on v to start editing the file and then comment that out so I'm not using virtual host on this tutorial and it's causing this forbidden error on my page. So let me save and exit and I'm gonna restart Apache. And if I refresh this, I should now get it works back to uh, the normal first time installation. So I'm gonna jump into the extras folder and I'll show you where the extra folder is. So extra folder I'm gonna do a list and I'm gonna show you why it errored out in the first place so this is the virtual host configuration file so let's just quickly uh, view what's inside so on the virtual host it has some parameters defined to a new to define a new virtual host as you can see it has specifications for server admin and document root it was complaining on the document root because this does not exist and commenting that out um, removes that and then um, the next file that we had on the tutorial was including the HTTPD user directory comp so this is that file make sure so i'm going to open the file make sure that you still have this inclusion on the file include uh, forward slash private forward slash etc forward slash apache 2 forward slash users and wildcard and then the configuration file so if i go to that directory I'm gonna exit this go one directory up do a list this is that directory cd users do a list and this is the configuration file remember we created one from scratch and I just copied and pasted um, some um, options in there so let me open this file and this is that um, definition that directory so it goes into the users and then your username and then the sites folder so make sure that the users and then the username here is correct it should be what you have on the who am i when you're in the terminal or you could also go into the finder go into the finder if you have the path bar showing here 
if you don't have it showing go to your view menu and make sure that the path bar is shown from there you could right click and copy sites as path name so if I do that and I jump back into the terminal and I'm just gonna go in edit mode and remove this and paste it should copy the path for me and add the forward slash at the end and just to show you what would happen if I don't have a invalid username here so let's jump in here let's put the username you can see that it's listing the directory for me but if I put an invalid username here say I just add those and save and escape and then restart the server if I refresh you'll get the provision so make sure that you have the correct username you could also go to the command line and type who am I to get the username so let's go back and fix that file just quickly and save and since we fixed up the virtual host earlier I just want to make sure that my Apache CTL uh, config test is not returning any error so it says syntax is okay so if there's some misconfiguration on the HTTP the configuration file or any of the related files it would throw an error here so you just uh, need to dig deep and sort that out cool so that hopefully should fix your issue if it's a configuration issue related but if it's a file permission related problem um, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that out so let's refresh this because I just did a config test but I didn't refresh I didn't restart so now it's showing so if I go to my sites folder and I right click on the sites folder and go on get info you would see that there's three users here there's system there's staff and everyone everybody has read write access to it and when if you're the web server for example the, um, Apache you do not belong to any one of these you're on the everyone list so let me edit the hit here I'll sh show you multiple ways on how to edit it so from here if I say no access and I try to refresh this uh, folder you would say I'll get a forbidden don't have access to on this server so everyone is the Apache server on this on this kind so how do you know where you are so if I open a terminal here and <clears throat> I created a PHP file here so I'm just gonna open that PHP file you would see it has the who am I being echoed there um, let's fix the permission first put it back to rewrite cool and refresh here and I'll jump into that uh, file you would see that the user for Apache is the underscore www so let's exit this and I'm gonna show you something else so I'm gonna show you the uh, file permissions on this directory so you do list and then dash L and it should show you all the folders the directory and files on this server and go back there as you can see it has this um, car uh, digits here so the first digit is the directory so if it's a directory like book stack both you would see D on it if it's not you would just see a dash on it and then there's six digits here 
The first three digits are for the owner, similar to what you saw on the get info. So let's open the get info and try to compare it here. Okay, so the owner of the file would be the first user, would be this first three digits. The owner would have read write access. And then staff would be groups of users. So any user belonging to that group would that would be their permission. So on this um, directory, on this file directory, the book stack one, the staff has read. They do not have write access, but they have an execute access. So execute is needed if it's a folder so that the folder could be open. And then the third one is everyone. Everyone else has uh, similar access as staff. They have read, but they don't have write, but they have execute. So let's try creating a folder. Let's change the permission on the sites again. So if I go CD, one level up, CD, and do this. And I have the sites there, so let's get more details. I have the sites here. You would see that the permission is to open. It's uh, owned by root. Um, staff has access to it, and everyone else is uh, have access to it as well. So this is very open. It's basically seven seven seven. If you round that up, so read is four. Write is two, execute is one. If you sum that up, that would be seven. So, what you would like is the owner to have read and write access, but for the rest, you just want them to have uh, read and execute access on this folder. So, you change it to 755. So, how to do that is you do sudo and then say chi mode, and then the permission that you want 755, and then the directory. So if I do another list now, you would see that the sites folder has now uh, this permission. So you should have at least 755 or 777 if you're just doing it locally on your machine. So if I refresh this, it should still work. Now, <clears throat> um, another um, thing to note about permission is um, the uh, group so if you want to add the ww user on the staff you could do sudo group add oh no sudo add user add user I think it's group add, sudo group add, then the user, www, and then the group name, which is staff. So if you do this, that user will be added on the staff, and you and since everyone, www was considered to be everyone, you don't need the permissions on this one, but you don't need to do that now. It's just some FYI. So hopefully by setting your directory to 755 and having the right permission, uh, you should be good. Um, let's go to the sites and I'm just going to show you if you ever encounter some uh, file permissions. So file is, for example, the info. So for file, you just need at least uh, 644 permission. 644 is you could uh, read and write but you don't need an execute and then the other one could have read read so if I change that info to 644 so sudo change mode 644 and then info the file name if I do a list you would see the permission is now um, change if I refresh and open that it would still work so 644 at least for files 
and then if you want to change the user so for example this is root so I, this was created using sudo blah blah so I'm going to show you how to create the file so sudo touch and then info one PHP so if I do a list you you would see that if you do use sudo that will be created by the root user and then underscore ww here was created uh, by apache because i use it i used a wordpress installation wizard so that that's why it's showing like this so if we want to change info to another user so if i do sudo change own instead of um change mod you put the username that you want to change it and then the file so info one php and then do a list and you can see that my file is now owned and created by this user so if you're having some file permissions even folder this would work so if you want the folder to be created by that current user they're working on that's how to do it all right so um, hope this addresses some of the issues with the installation if you're still encountering issues, please uh, hit the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And if some users have some tips for me on how to address some of the common file permission as well, I'm happy that you would comment on the section below. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.